Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm making a happy mail package for one of my good friends. Um, now I know her quite well so we've been friends for like 10 years or something and she, she messaged me on Instagram and said surprise me with a happy mail. So I got really excited and I spent the day creating something for her. Um, I really liked this abstract image I found in a Frankie magazine so I kind of wanted to keep that theme throughout the whole thing so it's quite a peachy theme. Um, I also really wanted to add a photo of us when we were really young so <laughs> this photo I think was taken when um, we might have been in year 7 or 8 so the photo that I craft with is <laughs> quite a long time ago um, and yeah I also found a letter that she wrote me a while back so I thought it would have been nice for me to send her a letter. Um, it's on the third page of the notebook that um, I craft for her and it has lots of happy memories of um, things that she's been through so I thought it would have been really nice if she read a letter that she wrote back in year um, 8 and 9. So other than the photo and the letter I actually had no idea what I was going to create today. Um, I found this little notebook um, in my stationery collection. And I really liked it because it had gridded pages, lined pages, and plain pages. So I thought there'd be lots of different ways I could craft in this notebook. So I actually wrote in the letter that um, if she wants to send this notebook back, I will keep collaging in the pages. And I'll continue writing back to her on the lined pages um, my letter. So if she keeps sending me the book back, I'll collage and write letters in there for her. Um, I hope you've all had a good week. I'm not sure what semester we are up to at school or uni. Um, but I think everyone's heading back at this point. I think I've seen a few videos around YouTube saying back to school halls and things like that. Um, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I am in between jobs at the moment. So um, yeah, my, my days have been a bit slower than usual. I haven't been going to work. Um, I've been wrapping up client work because I am a marketer outside of YouTube. <laughs> I would love to be a YouTuber full time. So if you have any friends who would like to watch my channel, get them to subscribe so my dream can come quicker. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am currently in between jobs. So I've been going for lots of interviews and the interview processes have been so weird these days. Um, I've had really, really odd interviews. Like when I used to go to interviews before um, my previous job, there was these weird interview processes. Like one interview, I had to do an IQ test. And if you didn't pass it, pass it, then that you didn't get to go on to the interview. And I didn't pass it because I... They told me to think outside of the box and I think I thought way outside of the box because I'm quite creative and I think I was I just psyched myself out and it was so odd they at the end of it they just said sorry you failed and the whole office could pretty much see what I was doing so that kind of flattened me a bit and I was just thinking recently like there's some weird interview um, processes so I just did one um, a few days ago they told you to take home a take home um, assignment, I guess. It was a challenge uh, and um, it was, I had to design like five marketing campaigns and at the end of it, I kind of felt a little bit flat because I was like, well, they kind of just used me for my marketing campaigns and they ask everyone to do this. So yeah, it's, it's so odd how they have interview processes these days. Um, I did another interview where I... They had like a recorded online um, interviewee, interviewer, I should say. Um, and yeah, it was so weird. They they had pre-recorded questions and I had to answer it within two minutes. And then I just never got any feedback. I never got a response. And I've also had, I've also been to interviews where I've been to four. And after the fourth one, they then never messaged me back. And I thought that was so odd. So I think I've just had a, a, a run of just really bad interviews. Um, but I'm hoping I get a job soon. I am um, working on my lady side hustle business. If you haven't seen it, um, I've tagged um, it in my Instagram page. Also, if you're not following my Instagram, you should go check it out. I post there quite often. And I'll be posting them more and more often all the time. And I also update you guys when 
I post a video and I'll also give you a little bit of warning when I'm about to post a video. Um, I usually post Sunday nights or Monday nights Australian time but lately um, like over the next few weeks if I'm still um, unemployed for a little bit then I'm going to be posting sporadically whenever um, I have time but yeah I've just been working on my own marketing business I'm just um, finding clients and yeah I've just been really enjoying my sleep ins and creating content for you guys so um, I've still got lots of savings so I'm not stressing at this point in terms of finding a job so I'm just putting in applications here and there when I find jobs that really um, stand out to me but yeah I mainly want to focus on my lady side hustle marketing business at this point um, other than that what's life got for me um, I've been trying to get more into a routine so um, at this point I've been wanting to make like a content calendar so I can start really planning out what I want to do and how I'm gonna grow this channel um, I've been planning out my videos a lot more. I know you guys always ask me video ideas. I've got like long lists of ideas, but sometimes I just want to change it up a bit because, um, content creation can get a bit stale if you're doing the same thing over again and again. I also would really like you guys to, um, try to talk a bit more and find pen pals. In the comments below, write, um, what kind of pen pal you're looking for and what kind of person you are, so put a bit of your interests. Um, I know people like to usually pick someone around the same age because they're usually kind of at the same place in life. So maybe just put your um, age if you feel comfortable putting that online. And maybe just put a few interests like are you a big Harry Potter fan or do you love Disney or um, are you a huge sticker collector? <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, that reminds me. So I know I shouldn't be shopping because I'm trying to be like I'm trying to save money because um, my income is slowing down <laughs> um, but I've been obsessed with buying things online lately because it's so easy to do with PayPal I don't know if anyone else has these issues but I I don't know where I saw it I've actually I've been buying off Instagram a lot so I saw these really cute planters on Instagram the other day and they were like little girls faces not not little girls but they were like female faces with like these cute little summer outfits on so it cut off around the shoulders but you can see like the top of the outfit um, and then the plant comes out of their head so it's like their hair is the plant which I thought was so cool and I was like that would look perfect in my house like you guys probably know by now that I love those unique little quirky things and I like something that's quite um, different so I bought two of them um, I don't know how long I've been talking for now but um, I should probably wrap it up here um, yeah if you guys want to look for pen pals write in the comments below um, what you like and what kind of pen pal you're looking for um, and yeah, say hi to me whenever you like in the comments. I make sure I write back to majority of you. And um, yeah, go check out my Instagram and say hi over there as well. I always post on there uh, quite regularly. So thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope you have some snail mail inspiration and some great ideas in mind for your next um, crafty project. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.